What you're seeing here are methods for exploratory data analysis and exploratory spatial data analysis, or ESDA, implemented in our Geoda software to identify outliers, clusters, skewed distributions, and correlations. Researchers routinely use these methods to find insights. And what motivated this project is that by default, it's easier to find insights that confirm the expected. Often in fields like geography, statistics, or computer science, available software and data drive the choice of research questions and the process of how we explore data. Typical insights gained this way are descriptive, like where a cluster is located or whether variables are correlated. And to be sure, expected insights are reassuring and descriptive insights are important. But instead of stopping here, we want to build on them to also find insights that are new and related. We want to discover the unexpected. And while we do need to know where clusters and outliers are, as researchers, we also want to go further and explain why these patterns exist. In the project I'm introducing here, we presume that there are ways for structuring the process of data exploration that make it more likely to discover unexpected and explanatory insights. This summer, we started experimenting with how to do this using our Geoda software. I'm Julia Kuczynski, the Executive Director of the Center for Spatial Data Science at the University of Chicago. And this is Marcos Falcone, a recent graduate who helped mentor this team of University of Chicago undergrads and a high schooler. And here are the colleagues who advised us. Our approach was to draw on philosophy of science and scientific reasoning to understand how the discovery of unexpected and explicable insights can work. We then translated this to research designs for ESDA and implemented the designs in replicable prototype examples for teaching and learning spatial research at the undergrad or high school level. For instance, in terms of scientific reasoning, classic work on causal explanations augments the typical current focus on correlations by also highlighting the need to assess the plausibility of our own explanation against alternatives. This requires a mindset and practice of rigorously testing how our explanations might be wrong rather than confirming that they're right. To do this requires an iterative back and forth between data and explanations, referred to as abductive reasoning as it combines inductive and deductive approaches. We use Sherlock Holmes stories like this one to illustrate the structure of these scientific reasoning concepts in a high school context. And scientific reasoning goes back hundreds of years our challenge this summer and from here on has been to translate this reasoning to research designs that are applicable to modern interactive ESDA tools. Each of us developed a protocol for how this could be done. This then guided the development of a case example. The example is replicable through a Geoda demo script plus clean data and documentation. These are designed as prototype resources for teaching and learning ESDA in Geoda that we'll develop further. For instance, here's the protocol I developed that differs from how ESDA is typically navigated. The starting point is the exploration of patterns in the outcome variable of in interest. Next is the formulation of alternative explanations whose patterns plausibly match those of the outcome variable. Then we draw on quasi-experimental research designs to structure the testing of this match. And finally, data about the hypothesized explanations are analyzed with ESDA and regressions to test or reformulate the hypotheses. Going back and forth between data exploration to test hypotheses and reformulating hypotheses as we learn from data illustrates abductive reasoning. And here are snapshots of the case examples everyone developed to illustrate their protocols, including what happens when protocol steps are skipped, as well as the associated demo scripts for replication, plus data and documentation. We'll make these resources and new examples available in a Geoda cookbook in the near future. 
if you're also working at the intersection of scientific reasoning and data science or want more details about this project, let us know.